Governor, one of your aides said this morning that you would respect Israel's decision to take military action against Iran on its own. Does that mean you're giving the green light to Israel to bomb Iran? Uh, let me, I'll use my own words, and, and that is I respect the right of Israel uh, to defend itself. And, uh, and we stand with, uh, with Israel. Uh, we're a, a nation, two nations that come together in, in peace and that want to see Iran for being dissuaded from its nuclear folly. So let me use my own words in that regard. But what does that mean to you then, that you respect uh, their decision? I mean, can you explain that a little more? Well, I think uh, I, I, because I'm on foreign soil, I don't want to be creating new foreign policy for, uh, for my country or in any way to distance myself from the foreign policy uh, of our nation, uh, but we respect the right of a nation to defend itself. But would you or, or would you not then support Israel's bombing of Iran? Well, again, that would be a, a statement which would be a, a, of a different nature than what our nation has already expressed with regards to um, uh, Iran. Uh, what we have said, and, and, and with which I concur, is that we should use uh, every uh, diplomatic and political vehicle that's available to us to keep Iran from becoming a nuclear capability state. Uh, those actions should be uh, executed with, uh, with the, the greatest uh, speed that we can, that we can muster. Uh, if all those options fail, and they've not all been executed, they've not all failed uh, entirely at this stage, if all those option fa options fail, then we do have other options, and we don't take those other options off the table. Uh, but uh, that's as far as I'm, I'm willing to go in, in terms of uh, discussing this matter while on foreign soil.